Sadak has been mediating Zimbabwe's politics since 2008 and was instrumental in bringing together rival political parties to craft a new constitution which was passed in a March 16th referendum. The new charter was a prerequisite for elections. Under the new dispensation, the country is expected to hold credible polls, avoiding a repeat of disputed elections of 2008. The mandate of the current government expires on June 29th, which has precipitated the push for early polls. Sadak's Maputo resolution has elicited mixed reactions. Some welcome the regional bloc's rare tough stance against President Mugabe, while others argue it could have a detrimental impact. It is uh, problematic in that there are possibilities that uh, the Constitutional Court uh, will uphold its, uh, its ruling. And if uh, that happens, then we are back to square one, but in a much more complicated manner now. The MDC is the perceived biggest winner in Maputo. However, analysts say the resolution is a minor dent to Mugabe, who is likely to press on with his plans. You talk about the rule of law. What is the rule of law? Is it not to follow the decisions or dictates of your judiciary system? Once the, 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 the courts have made a decision, you have to abide by it. In the event that President Mugabe has his way, it's not clear whether the MDC would participate in an election. However, analysts I spoke to believe the MDC would contest the elections even if their expectations are not met. Non-participation, in my view, uh, is more dangerous than, the, than, the, uh, the, than participating. You know, it will actually be easy for ZANU-PF to handle a poll boycott than to handle a contested election. I see some sections of the MDC wanting to pull out of uh, the election, obviously saying that uh, it is not in accordance with the roadmap. But at the same time, there are quite a number in the MDC who believe that uh, despite this, uh, the status quo, they still command so much following, so much that they can win outright, uh, I mean, if the election is held today. Well, the next few days are critical here. The Constitutional Court is expected to receive the appeal early in the week and make their ruling thereafter. That ruling has a significant bearing on determining the future of this country, potentially breaking the deadlock or plunging Zimbabwe into even more disagreement. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.